Let's save you some time and frustration and go ahead and look at the basics of building in Nightingale. You can hit B for build. The first set you get is the crude buildings. There's a crude foundation with sticks, wood bundle, and plant fiber, and a crude foundation with stone, and a set of each. You have to place your building on a foundation or it won't let you build. So you choose what you want to build, and then you hit place. And it gives you an outline so that you can decide where you want it to be. You can use the mouse wheel to rotate the direction of it. You can hold R and mouse wheel to adjust the height up and down. Your NPC will help you build, as she just did. You can have it snap two structures that are already there. There is a grid that you're playing with in the game. So if I'm facing due north or south, I'm lined up with this grid. I can do one turn and two turns, and I'm halfway around, so 45 degree turns. You can hit right click or escape to get out of placement mode. Once you have your outline placed, thanks Adeline, let's try that again. She's building for me before I can show you. Once I have my outline placed of where I want it to be, I can walk up to it and hit E to auto add resources. She's so helpful. And it will adjust the piece according to the terrain. If I put something under the terrain, I can add resources. And she already finished my foundation for me. So you can see it goes right into the terrain. It doesn't cut it away. If you want it to snap to a wall, it seems to be better to point at the wall rather than trying to place it on the ground. It will try to auto snap to where you might want to be. See it's turning automatically from that side to the next because of the grid. Adeline seems to be able to add things from a distance as well. She doesn't have to walk right up to it like we do. You only start with a crude flat roof. If you want to get the crude advanced roof that has a slant to it, you have to buy it from the first essence trader. If you need more wood or stone, you can change out with implement your assistant is using. Give them the mining pick to have them get stone for you. Give them the wood ax to have them get wood for you. As you go along building your base, you'll be accomplishing challenges as well. And as you accomplish each challenge, you'll be rewarded with essence dust. For building a structure of at least 10 pieces, which is the first one, you can then come and claim it to get your essence dust. Likewise, as you unlock other build parts and different biomes and get a larger and larger estate, you'll get more and more essence dust as a reward. If you want to edit or move something that you've placed down, you can hit X and you'll see directions of what you can do on the right. V will remove the item and circle to give you time to confirm. Doing it this way gives you the full amount of resources back. You don't have to be in build mode first. You can just hit X to go into this editing screen. If you want to move it a bit, you can point at it, hold R, and then adjust where it's sitting, rotate it however you want, and then put it back down. You can also point at it and hold Q for a copy if you'd like to have another one. Ta-da! If this was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more Nightingale. Happy gaming!